Okay, class, let us look at different forms of precipitation. And I don't want you to confuse forms of precipitation with types of rainfall. Because rainfall is part of precipitation. It is a form of precipitation. In case they ask you a question like, explain any three forms of precipitation. Don't begin explaining types of rainfall like cyclonic rainfall, relief rainfall, and convectional rainfall. Those are not forms of precipitation. They are types of rainfall. So what is precipitation? Precipitation refers to any form of liquid or solid water particles that fall on Earth's surface from the atmosphere, which means precipitation can be in form of liquid or form of solid. Forms of precipitation. Number one, we have rainfall. This refers to water droplets falling on Earth's surface from the atmosphere, which means rainfall is in a liquid state. Snow. It is a solid water particle formed when condensation occurs below the freezing point. Snow is in a solid state not in a liquid state like rain and it is formed when condensation occurs below the freezing point below zero degrees Celsius then we have drizzle sometimes you hear people saying it is drizzling here they don't say it is raining here because they are different. When it is drizzling, it, the particles, the droplets of water falling on Earth's surface are very tiny and they have a low intensity compared to that of rainfall. So it is defined as the fall of numerous uniform tiny droplets of water having a diameter of less than 0.5 millimeters the drops or particles of drizzle are very small tiny compared to those of rainfall sometimes when you look at the atmosphere you see drizzles as if they are floating, the particles of drizzles as if they are floating in atmosphere. But they keep on flowing or falling slowly, and at the end of the day, you find much water has been collected on the surface. Then we have fog. Fog is a cloud layer, it's a cloud layer lying in contact and very close the earth's surface or sea it's a lower cloud almost touching the earth's surface or touching the surface of the sea or ocean it is always common in morning hours or wet season then what is mist mist is another form of precipitation mist in short it is light fog it's light fog when fog is not thick we call it mist it is very transparent you can see through it then we have frost this is defined as transformation of gaseous form of water directly into solid form under the process of sublimation sometimes you find uh, the temperatures condensation 
goes beyond the freezing point or below the freezing point and the, the soils themselves on the ground freeze and when they are frozen they form frost hailstones hails this refers to large spheres pellets of ice they are large balls of ice one may confuse them with snow the hailstones are bigger than snow in size then we have sleet it refers to the mixture of snow and rain they come together mixed they are also formed when condensation takes place below the freezing point then we have dew most of you when you get out of your houses early in the morning you look at the vegetation in front of your house or on your compound with particles drops of droplets of water on that vegetation that is what we call dew it can be on vegetation or if you leave a panga outside in the morning you find drops of water droplets of water on the panga that is dew but it is common on vegetation how is it formed hmm? dew these are droplets of water that are deposited on the ground dew is formed when atmospheric moisture moisture in atmosphere or one can call it water vapor condenses at a rate greater than that at which it can evaporate the water moisture evaporate i mean before it evaporates it condenses at a greater rate than that at which it can evaporate then finally it forms dew we have rim it is an opaque thin white layer of ice it is formed when air temperature freezes or cools beyond the point below the point of water it's an opaque it's not transparent thin white layer of ice thank you